Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic 1.4 preview playthrough as the Galactic Republic. In the last episode, we queued up construction on our Maelstrom, one of the ships featured in the thumbnail, so we're going to be getting that soon. But we also took Fondor, which is actually going to be very good for us because we can just defend that, we can set up those defenses, and then hopefully uh, we won't have... A bunch of things angrily trying to kill us. We can get some of these fleets out of here, uh, but we are trying to build up some anti-fighter to go up against this fleet on Foros. Kularn's about to get attacked. Is that a... uh, why don't I? Why don't I know where all the Clone Wars are yet? No, it's down down here. Right. Okay. So these guys are actually going to be supported by Hypervelocity Gun. This is, aside from the weird inhalation that I don't know if you guys heard, this is actually okay. Uh, I am, I'm willing to, to let that go through. All right. I am actually, I don't know if the music is too loud or if it's just my, my own volume, but okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's let that run for a second. I would really like to have the Maelstrom for this first battle. Uh, there at Karita. Orta's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna... That window. Uh, so we have Azure defended. Kashyyyk is defender, and I actually want to get Kashyyyk up to higher influence, because we should get some uh, fun new influence toy there as well. And as long as we're connected, we'll be able to do that. But do we have any missions going on right now? We do not. And okay, I think we can keep. Yeah, let's uh, let's let this get back to building. Sixty percent. I'm just I'm just scared by by leaving it that it's gonna be gonna come and kill me. Okay, it's trench. This trench has been floating around, but. Ooh, we're not going to be able to do much about the Lucre Hulk. This is where the strategies I've been using don't last or don't don't do as much. But it is seeming like the hut playthrough in Thrawn's Revenge is probably going to start before the community challenge. But if we can, so I'll finish that thought. Don't worry. If we can take down Trench with the HV gun. This battle will be worth it, even though he will come back. He will get better. We got his engines, too, but it's a such a good command here. But anyway, yeah, so I've been I've been working on setting up the community challenge. It is going to take a little bit longer, uh, so I, I'm probably going to start that over the actual holidays, which I'm defining as the time where uh, where Dana is not going to be home. Uh, which is probably also around when the hut one's going to start, but I'm going to put up the the Hut unit choices for the TR playthrough soon, and then the uh, community challenge should start. Like they're, they're both going to be coming in around the same time. Like we're only doing the Republic one now, so that that's a that's a thing. But uh, this is like our the stuff we've been doing is not necessarily going to work as well for this battle. And of course, after my my last few victories, uh, there have been many discussions about um, some changes we're trying with the AI that Bob has put in the last couple of days to make the AI prioritize sticking together a little bit more, uh, depending on the situation, because we've been obviously getting a lot of value out of, uh, out of just doing some bombing runs and splitting stuff apart kind of getting some wins in that way. I, even though Trench isn't going to make it to the station very fast, if we can kill him, I do think it is worth just going for that rather than trying to split it. Though so we'll have some time. So I wonder if it's better to split between some of these other units for now. You don't... Oh, you do have a, a hanger. We're here. 
But yeah, there were there were a lot more situations where the AI was willing to like have their stuff spread out. Oh god, you're. I, I didn't realize that I did that. My bad. Uh, but yeah, so that's been adjusted down, and then some of the some of the future potential tactical changes might make that a little bit less of a problem as well. Okay, well, those guys are a little sad. We're so close to killing Trench, and then they're still going to be able to put in another 40 pop cap worth of stuff. Okay, they are starting to split up a little bit now, it looks like. Let's get those... Fighters in. I'm going to try to split between different fighter targets. And get these bombers onto those. Like, if we can just use some of these HV guns on some of the other targets first, even though I want to make sure we kill Trench, I think we'd, we're going to benefit a bit more. Like we, we can definitely get some extra kills off that way. I just need to try to kill these bombers, because they are going to be a very scary part of this battle. Because our bomber superiority doesn't exist. Our fighter superiority doesn't exist. It's not quite the same ratios as the prior setups. Okay, and they are bringing in more reinforcements now. Right, let's try to make sure you guys are... Focusing on your strengths. Losing the axe is scary. I don't want to lose the axe. The axe are actually crack. They're crack landers. But, like, this fleet has been doing so much damage on the outer rim. I can't just let them keep... I can't let them keep getting away with this. So, the more damage we can do here, the better. And they are being helped a lot by Trench's bonus, so... I should probably just take it out, just to make sure. Even though that is going to mean some more units come in. But we're at the point where, like, I can't really be sure of what we can take down. Like, I'd love to take out a Providence on top of Trench. But, I don't know how reasonable that's going to be. Especially with the bonus that he's giving. So I may as well just take it out on him because he doesn't self apply. There we go. So that's going to mean stuff jumps on. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we can, if we can take out this province, I'll, I'll consider that a W. But I think that's going to be the limit of what we can do. All right, and let's let's see if we can move out over here. Mm, no, I think it's if anything, we gotta go for you. Oh well, we we did some damage. We took out their best space hero. He is gonna come back. He's gonna get better once, but. That's just what the CIS gets for the lack of uh, overall hero numbers they have compared to the Republic. They get some respawns for, for villains rather than permadeaths for the heroes. We killed just, just under half. Just over a third. Just under half. Uh, but there have been a few questions in the comments about what the CIS is getting in this release. They're not getting a ton. It's mostly focused on the huts, and there's a couple Republic ships that have been sitting around waiting to be finished for a while. Those are uh, what's been going in. But the next release is going to be more... Like, there's going to be less to do for the Republic and more to do for the CIS in uh, in the next Fall of the Republic release. So their time will come. There's still some like wave crests and stuff. Um, I think we need to do it this way, because otherwise we're really going to be able to get in. Mm. Well, we have a hyper-velocity gun. It's only an XQ, though. 
Like, we're gonna be able to get our space stuff in before anything. I'd like to. If I can, I'd like to destroy you. Yeah, got the engines. That's all we need. We need to just get engines. So let's, uh, let's maybe do a little bit of running around if we have to. If we can get the engines on the other one, that is, I'm going to be just so happy. All right. Um, there we go. Double engines, double the fun. Light Corvette here. It's just, I don't know. Okay, their bombers are going to get in there. They're... I might be small. I'm gonna be able to bomb through that. Let's go for you. And there's one. You need to. You need to stop. Get over there. No. Okay. Don't. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have been defeated. So close. It, the bombers did it. I deserved it. We're gonna get in there before anything happens. This is, I think, the first use of our Praetor, anyways. So, not the most impressive. Is that we used it yet? No, I don't think we have. I do not think we have. So, who's that? Last in, first out. Choose your reinforcements. Then it's Invictus, Gallant Gnome, King Ghost, Memory of Hamilton, Point Defense, Hectorino, Overslept for the Katana launch, 99 Dreadnoughts on the wall, and finally Hunter Blades. We're not going to put in Hauser, he's just going to he's just gonna chill for a minute. He's not needed, he can just rest in the in the mess hall. I mean, it's got to be it's got to be hard for them because if they're going to be able to jump in at any moment, that must mean they're just sitting on the outskirts of the system ready to, uh, to micro jump in. So I don't know if that's Beginning is that what that's going to be what that's meant to represent or going to represent. OK, um, we are already building that acclimator. I'm going to cancel those because we're going to get Kuat to build Vehicle the procurator and that's going to go in another fleet. Uh, then over here on Coruscant, I'm going to move Mr. Pestage over. And that should really be enough for us to to do this this battle on for us. I am going to save, though. Things have been fairly stable, which is good. Techno Union took Florum. What? They had a little oopsies there. Mon Calamari, they're not going to get into. I guess I could build a fleet out of Mon Cal. Uh, what's our... Do we have any open slots under command staff right now? We do not. Actually, we do. We have an army officer to purchase. Uh, I'm not going to do that yet. Am I? I think I might. It's four grand... Well, how are we how are we looking for anything that has some money? I think it's I think we should. We'll do that and then I'll have a nice little comment poll for everyone at the end and that's how we'll we'll decide the next one. But in the meantime, that should mean we are still able to build up a couple of the things. So let's get an assault act. No, that's all done. Yeah, we'll get a regular act. Unit in production. Yeah, just the regular act. All right. We're going in. We're going in. I think we have enough anti-fighter. They have built up something else. So they have some reinforcements. They don't have an HV gun, or an ion cannon, rather. Uh, they have the shipyard. They have a level 4 or level 5 station. So I got to be a little careful. But we have the debut of the Maelstrom. Which is just as important. Or more important. Parent cake. 
Eric Obama, aggressive negotiations. There he is. There she is. So we've shown a different version of this, but Sky wanted to go back in and do another update to it. So this is the the maelstrom y'all will be playing with. It is it's it's been around like the ship design or not design, the ship class has existed for quite some time, but it never got an official design. Uh, so it's it is a canon class. It's uh I don't know if widespread is the right word, but it's mentioned in a few places. And uh, so we've kind of got it as a, uh, a medium point between the Venator and the Secutor. It's kind of the the middle of that evolutionary line. I don't know what the baby in that evolutionary line is, but in my frontline material, you get in there. Zeppi's Bane. I love democracy. I'm Shotka. Okay, we're just gonna get everyone else to stop. Because we should be able to, to nail this pretty well. And since I know there's all the people who like to just steal the the screenshots. Go ahead, which I think was mostly right on. I don't think anyone does that anymore. Uh, okay, metal tube. Shacking up. Syllable. I'm going to go heavily into those. Alright. We don't have as much anti-fighter as I really wanted. But. Adding up we do have a lot of our own fighter on top of it. Fighters. Safety check complete. Copy that, sir. Underway. Bring it on the move. Understood. And making the jump delay. On my way, Commander. As long as we don't rush too far out. Awaiting your command. Your orders. We should be able to take a lot of what's there. What is your order? Bring it reporting in. Oops. The, so that Providence was the victim of uh, some spawning overlap. So it's a common request for the ships to start more back here. But for the garrisons especially, like Empire War has trouble spawning stuff in the same spot. So if an area is too crowded... Oh, great, they're moving up. Great. If an area is too crowded, the game will spawn stuff at the origin of the map, which is why it's about there. You look on the map uh which is why that providence was so far up because the area that it's trying to spawn the garrison in is closer to the other stations closer to the other units uh, so there's some lewis grips that you can use or lua functions that ignore collisions when spawning uh, so it'll spawn stuff like exactly in the middle of another object if it has to uh, and that's what we use to spawn the field base objects actually uh, but that means that like stuff will overlap and it means that um, you don't get like the the hyperspace in animation. So we have to be a little bit picky on, or we need to like weigh the the positives and negatives of different uses of some stuff. So it's it's always trade offs with modding, especially with Empire War, or not especially with Empire War. It's just Empire War is the thing that's relevant to my interests. Every every modder for every game thinks that their game has a unique amount of jank. But Come on. Come on, you bastard. That's just software. One shot, one kill. All right, so we've got this first wave of bombers. There's a lot of diamonds back there, so I don't want to try to go too aggressive on this yet. Like, there's also this whole line of stuff to get through. So right now we're getting a lot of. Make the fire off on those bombers. And so whenever I'm talking about especially AI changes in the middle of a playthrough that's happened between episodes, those don't impact the the playthrough as they're happening. Uh, so often when I'm doing a playthrough, there'll be still be work going on in the mods for, for the months it's going on. But you often won't get to see that reflected in the ongoing playthroughs because it's... Uh, there's a lot of changes that aren't save game compatible, and that's kind of important. As we learned in the Sith playthrough, it's kind of important to be able to load your, your saves. What a horrible month for modern that was. But it's all, all the saves are working. Right Alright, so 
They get such a fighter-heavy fleet, but they've sent them all in. So, we've had some damage come through, but probably not enough to really worry me yet. I would like to have these bombers do some damage. Okay, let's try to move you up a little bit. Just want to make sure that Zinj doesn't die. Uh, that's going to probably last until the other stuff's in. So I might actually be better off switching to some of these other ones. No, the, the shield's going down there. We just need to make sure we're not going too far in. And, like, we're running out of fighters as well. So... Even though we were fighting pretty far up. Which one are you, anyways? Your aggressive negotiations? Okay, and I think that is our only patron. Maelstrom. I'm gonna see if I can get you to attack. There's still so many bombers coming in. I don't like this, actually. I'd want to try to get a retreat. Like, we'll try to kill some of the stuff and then maybe get a retreat in. So, ideally, our engines don't get demolished. There's a lot of bombers coming in. We've got a lot of... A lot of enemies. Ready. Is it even though I was focusing on building up some anti-air or anti-fighter, we didn't have like a ton of it. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Like, we're we're doing a lot. We're getting them down. There's not another providence. This half is falling too. But like all the shields on our units are down. And I just don't know how much we're doing to their bombers. It's at least something. They're not going to have that much in reserve. Like, they do have some reserves, but it's only like 12 pop. Depending on how close they were able to get to 300. Or 200, rather. Okay, the Maelstrom is winning this side pretty handily without too much other support. We've lost the bulk of the Invincible, but I don't know that there's much that's actually still shooting over here. And I'm a little sad that the... Okay, you actually don't have any engines anymore. So, retreating is getting very expensive. Got so much of them down. Okay, you need to really take that out. And... Let's get those heavier bombers. I'm gonna lose that guy. Like, we haven't actually lost anything yet, but a lot of stuff is getting close. Yeah, here comes another chunk of bombers. That's gonna be a problem. Crap. Going down. But we'll be able to rebuild it, and if it does die, then we'll probably retreat before getting too much else in. Okay, let's throw in kick attack. Alien frigate. Aris. Ascension. I'm gonna do this while pause just so we get everyone in. Dawnbreaker, care attack. Okay. We're gonna be back up to 
Pull cool on that. Commencing attack on gun tower. Destroyer here. Yes, Admiral. All power diverting. I was trying to keep these guys safe, but probably could have used them to block for the maelstrom a little bit better. They were still getting some pot shots in. Probably not enough to really be effective. Miracle Lacken. We still have to take out the station after this. Look at that. Like, I needed 30 to 40 pop cap worth of anti fighter, really. Because this was all bombers. Not all bombers, this was a lot of bombers. Let's try to get you guys out of there. We need to make sure we actually take these bombers out. Uh, you, or these diamonds out, rather. Try to switch on that. There's no way we're taking out the station on this, though. Okay, let's just uh, let's keep focusing on this because they're gonna be really taking out our bombers. We don't want that. It makes the most sense to just focus fire on these little guys. They will not survive. Now that they're close enough. I would have done it earlier if they had been in range for the whole battle, because like the diamonds really contribute obviously to the, to the fighter supremacy. Can come back. Alright, as much as I would like to win, like just uh Take everything out? I don't know if I can. I need to try to kill anything with bombs that's coming in from Mama Zinja's engines. They have strong resistance. It's starting to get shields back at least. Because if we need to retreat, that's the most important thing to get out of there. Okay, and we're actually starting to get some heals on that. That's good. That's still a huge cloud of fighters to kill. With nothing else to shoot, we should be able to to whittle that down pretty quickly, especially if they're in a big cluster like that. But where does that leave us? Do we lose anything if we have to leave? You have engines, you have engines. These guys all have engines. Zinj still has engines. Oof. Another squad of bombers. Like, I'd really like to take out the shipyard. Even if I can't take out the station. Right, there comes another squadron of bombers. Or trio of bombers. Well, let's uh, let's move up. You are really not going to help much. I'm just going to leave you here. And maybe your shields will come back. Maybe they won't. I mean, they will, but... Maybe they'll come back and be helpful. Maybe they won't. What is your order? I will like they're not going to be able to do as much with uh, with the squadrons they have. They have you. Almost in range. I got one. The safest direction to come from. Probably the right. Where's the next target? I'd like to. I'd like to just go over here. And maybe I'll do that through the magic of editing. All 
All right, editing accomplished. Uh, if you actually want to send this out to us, I would I would be eternally grateful. Like you're, they might be deciding to burn you. I'd like to I'd like to see that. What do you need? We don't have enough fighters and bombers that we'd be able to realistically get in there and kill those. But if we can kill these diamonds, that's cool. Do that. I am waiting for the Emperor. We'll win this fight, no problems. Moving to attack. Fire for Mesh on the right. What do you wish? And... Well, we'll you got the... With pleasure. Greater power diverting the weapons. It is about time. You're out far enough. Ready to commence. It's a little Ready. bit worried about the... Heading out. Fighters and bombers, but I... I I'm not going to get distracted. You want to get in there... Let's see if uh, if the bombers on their own can do this. Here, I'm gonna send our our little architens out over there with our bombers. Okay, everyone else move out a little bit. Get past there. You've got the captain. Understood. We're Full moving speed. out. Our Quintin's here. All if we can get to the action. back corner with those. No, oh, you're supposed to keep moving. Oh well. Uh, can I get a galleon? Moving to sector. Here for defense. We might be small, but we pack a punch. Oh. Copy. You've got the captain. Okay, I'm gonna try to just blow through that. All right, now let's uh, let's get this group on there, and maybe if we get through the back that way. Okay. This way, at least, if we do need to come back, then we've taken them out as much as possible. All right, turn around. I don't think that's actually going to do as much for us. Well, with the with the diamonds here, get away. You got to get out. So I, I would like to still have some bombers if we're going to try to take out more. You're only there to protect. Should be able to finish this off with just the Architenses. Yes. Reporting. Guys are gonna protect them. This used to be a Ideally. Whatever it was they were looking for, it looks like they already found it. What is it, Commander? Now I don't think we are gonna be able to take out that station. But if we can come back with uh no big fleet, no shipyard. We can we can make it a two-parter. Oh, that's actually a lot. So we lost aggressive negotiations. It can get better. Invincible Dreadnought, Rex's Ageless Cruiser, Seppi's Bane, and Voyager of the Stars. But we killed that entire fleet, and. Uh, well, we'll be able to get aggressive negotiations back once we get another Maelstrom roll. But it'll happen. They actually still have some units there. Um, we'll go in with the Procurator in our next attempt. But I kind of feel like we could actually take that out. With everything put together and with the fighters now maybe i should just we don't have eh. do i have something slightly i i just want the some extra damage so i'm just gonna borrow from these guys for a second mission log updated oh first get over there and what's our mission 
Our mission is expanding Front's Conqueror tool and we'll get some vats. They, the missions, they know how to speak my language. I'm going to put you guys out of there. We do need to build up another ground force somewhere. And... Well, I may as well pull you in. And that should be more than enough to take for Austin space. In revenge for the Maelstrom. It'll just be nice not to have to worry about attacks on our back line here. Alright, so... Cut my material. Shorzy. Of democracy. Shotka. We will have a lot of fighters and bombers in this too. But yeah, it was it was nowhere near enough anti-fighter. I think I really underestimated just how much uh, they were going to be throwing at us in that category as well. So, you know what? Fair play to you guys. I've bombed the shit out of you this whole campaign, and now you have returned the favor. So, I can't be upset at that. We're on the move. Yes, Commander. Engage target. Ready. You had a better fleet comp than me. Not really. I mean, did they? No, they just were more carrier than me, and I didn't have the right, the right answers to this. Not better fleet comp, because I still won. But I didn't win without losses, which is. Something Empire at War players always seem to expect. Because we're not real RTS players. We're Stardew Valley players in disguise. Okay. We'll get aggressive negotiations back, we'll get our Maelstrom back. Uh, with the next procured editor. We'll see where we want to move our focus over to. But at least we've killed these now. I don't know where they were hiding. Did they, like, go off to a nebula somewhere? I'm pretty sure they were in the battle. Aren't they? Maybe. Maybe, they just, maybe that was the reinforcements and they didn't have room to bring them in? Like, at the start, and then just never properly reinforced? So many questions. Okay, well, let's uh, let's try to get into the station. <laughs> Hit you exploded. And we do need to get up to the station. So if you got powered weapons. Turn it on now. This guy comes in. I mean, if I had if I had wrapped the Venator around more, that was supposed to back up the Maelstrom instead of being afraid of it. Maybe that would have made enough of a difference to keep the Maelstrom alive. But the engines went down pretty early, and we were never really going to be able to take the station. So if the Maelstrom was still up and had enough hard points left, maybe I would have done that. So. I still think the biggest difference would have come from having sufficient anti-fighter. That probably deserves to be its own, its own video, talking about players not getting enough anti-fighter. Well, there we go. All right, so we still got to do the ground invasion. We'll use uh, our new ground heroes for that. And we do actually have the new slot opened, I think. So let's see. Tactical battle oh, hello. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Ventress and Dooku are going to be killable with this, but I may as well try. Going much longer than I expected to.
they're still getting a lot of success on the rim. Let's, uh... Maybe try to wrap around up there. Lancet standing by. I'm a holding up. We have a lot of money. Moving out. Right, sir. Turret constructed. A A V. Yes. Down, there's Ventress. That's also A V. Turret constructing. Mm. Turret constructing. Aerial artillery Engines activated. So, I can grab those. Get one of you to just get as many of these as we can. I don't know if they're gonna get over here. It's really this area that we're. Aiming for control of first. AI. Some infantry coming in. We're gonna try to get a field base. Get a couple field bases. But what we're afraid of is a bunch of Jedi. Field bases are only so helpful. Cover and get you out of there. I'm gonna get some repairs here. I'm gonna get those in there. And then I'm gonna send these all around. Reporting in. Awaiting orders. Unit destroyed. These B2s that are kinda crazy. Roger that. So is that Vince Ventress? No. There's crowd droids down here. Oh, they're... Okay, they're actually looping around there. Ventress or Dooku. Try to block them. Okay, let's try to stop them from getting the landing zone fully. Otherwise, well, I think they're already at 10 anyways. Okay, can I, can I kill you? Try to get down. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, they have AA on that. Run away. Run away. Run away. The repairs and see if you can live. Heading out. That's our only chance. No, oh, okay, that's that's done. Okay. Well we lost Kularin. Kinda knew that was coming. And they have Ventress and Dooku here. We only had like three units. It was a it was a big invasion. We killed a lot, so it's not like it was a complete waste there. But, to, to get back to what we were doing... Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, so do we want Salomahal with the RX? Do we want Gentis with the ATTE? Do we want Ramoti with the A5? Or do we want Rom Mach? So, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Maelstrom's debut which uh, we actually just got the Procurator over here as well. Technically not a debut for it next episode because we already fought one, but hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.